Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a VPN when you're playing Valorant in order to potentially get more stable ping, in order to be able to play with friends that are in different regions or different shards, and also how to save money when you're buying Valorant points in the store. Now, using a VPN in your own region is pretty simple. All you have to do is go online. You could find a map over here of all of the servers that Valorant has and find the closest server to where you live. So for example, if you were in the US and you were in the Midwest over here, then the closest server to you might be this one in Dallas. For me, I'm in Europe and the closest server to me happens to be Frankfurt over here. Now, once you have this information, you need to make sure that you're signed out of everything in Valorant. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go exit the desktop, sign out and exit. Now we're here, we're at the sign in page. And before we sign in, we're going to go to our VPN. So it could be this one over here, Express VPN. It could be another really good one, Nord VPN. And I'm going to go into more about these VPNs a little bit later in the video, but you'll be able to find a lot more useful information and links about these in the description below if you're interested in checking them out right now. But basically, you want to go into your VPN and click on the closest server to you, right? So in my case, it would be this one here, Germany, Frankfurt, and I'm gonna click connect. Now, some people have been reporting that they've been having issues when they do this, and they basically get a message that says update server down. Uh, I've had issues myself where I go to sign in and basically I get a page saying that I've been blocked and I can't sign in. Now, if this happens to you, it can be really annoying, but I found that the best solution is basically going into your location. So in Express, it would be over here, clicking on this button and getting the locations and then finding another server to connect to. So in Express, this would be Germany Frankfurt one. But if I search for Germany, then I can go and click on this arrow and I get a few other servers within Germany, right? So I have one for Nuremberg and another one for Frankfurt. So I found that if I do get an error message saying something like server down or we can't log you in right now or I'm getting blocked from signing in, changing one of these servers has pretty much always been the solution. So now that I've connected up to the server in Frankfurt, now we're going to go and sign into the account. And once you've done that, you'll be able to play normally. And because you're connected up to a server that's closer to the game server, you may not get better ping. Although with a VPN like Express, NordVPN, or another one that I like a lot, which is Surfshark, you have the best chance at getting ping that is the closest to your base ping because these are VPNs that have servers which are optimized for gaming and also have the fastest protocols. Like right now, I'm using Express VPN, and if I go to play and I go right here to check out my ping, I'm able to get 69 milliseconds, which is not bad at all and is actually really close to my base ping. And the added benefit of going through a VPN server as opposed to my regular internet service provider servers is that with the VPN, you're getting a server that's more optimized for gaming and you're going to potentially get a more stable connection, less unexpected lag and just overall smoother gameplay. Now, there is another really popular reason to use a VPN for Valorant, and that's if you want to invite friends to play from other regions, because Basically, the way Valorant works is that players in the game are broken into different regions, what they call shards, and there's a few of them. So you have North America, Latin America, Brazil, you have pretty much Africa, Europe, and parts of the Middle East, the China area over here, and Southeast Asia, and then also Korea. That's the last one right there. And when you make your account, it'll automatically be placed in one of these regions. And once that happens, then you're only going to be able to connect to servers within that area, and you can also only play with people in the same region as you. So I'm in Europe and basically these are the servers, all the purple ones, which stretch down to Africa and Cape Town and then all the way over and down to Tokyo are going to be in the region that I can play. So if I would go back into the game and I would go to a custom game where I can actually pick the server I want to play on, those are the options I'm going to get. I'm going to get Frankfurt and Paris, all of these European servers, and then Cape Town and Tokyo. Those are the ones where I'm not going to be able to select the Latin America or US servers, and I wouldn't be able to invite any friends that I have there and play with them. So if you have friends that live in one of those other regions and you want to play with them, there's really two ways to do it. The first way would be to contact Riot Games directly and ask them to change the region of your account. But if you don't want to do that, then you can do it with a VPN, but you're going to have to make a new account and then have that account registered to whichever region you want to be playing on. So now in order to make a new account, basically you want to sign out from your regular account and start up the VPN and connect to a server that's in the country where you want to make your new account. Now you can see already that I pick New Jersey and I'm going to get the message that's going to say that basically I can't sign in. So I'm going to go ahead and just try to sign in. You're going to see that I'm going to run into that problem I was talking about before. So this is kind of like what I'm talking about. You get one of these error messages that says something like this. We're having trouble signing you in. And like I said, the simple solution is to go and just find a different server. So instead of New Jersey, I'm going to pick something close by New York. 
and I'm going to try connecting up with this server. And then I'm going to go and close down Riot Games and restart it up again and try again. So now I restarted with New York and I am going to sign in once more. And this time being connected to the New York server, I don't have any issues and I can get into my account. So this just backs up what I was saying before. I saw a lot of people were struggling with this and the simple thing is just to change your server. You just wanna be within one of those regions that I said before. So basically we're gonna make sure that we have our VPN connected at this point when we're already signed out and we're gonna connect up to the region that we wanna make a new account in. Now it doesn't really matter or which city you pick. So like here I picked the USA and a New York server, but it really wouldn't matter if I picked the Los Angeles server or somewhere else in the US. All I wanna make sure is that I'm connected up to somewhere in North America in this area right here so that when I go to make a new account it'll be assigned to this region so now that you're connected up with your VPN just go to the Valorant website and click play now sign up and make a new account if they ever ask you for your location again make sure that you put in the US and I just want to demonstrate what I was talking about before see now I'm connected up with Express to the New York server and I won't have any issues but let's say I would go and connect up to the New Jersey server and then I would try to connect to my account and I entered in my account username and password and I connect it up I'm gonna get a message that's gonna say that they're having trouble signing me in there's some issue hey, there you go people have been having this issue and I've seen a lot of people struggling with this so if you're having this issue there's a really easy fix like I said just close down the riot client and then go into your VPN and instead of New Jersey try a different server so I'll pick New York and then once I'm connected open up the client again and now I'll be able to sign in and I shouldn't have any issues so let's try it again And there you go it's working fine now i'm gonna go ahead and enter into my account here because i just want to show you that instead of having the option for all those european servers and the servers that i showed you before i'm gonna have now all the north american servers okay so now i'm in i'm gonna go to play and again i'm gonna go and try to make a custom game and now instead of having all those european servers you can see that i'm only given the us servers because of this account that i made i made it connected up to the express vpn us server and it was designated to that region so these are the only servers i'm going to be able to play on and if i want to play with my friends in the us i can do it with this account now there are two things you should know once you connect it up to the us server and made your account in the valorant website you don't really need to connect up to the vpn anymore you can just sign in with your regular internet connection to this account because since when you signed up it was registered as a us account and the game itself will automatically match you to these servers the only reason I can see that somebody would still want to be connected up to VPN is like I mentioned at the beginning, if you want to try to get more stable ping. And talking about ping, even if you weren't connected to the VPN, no matter what, since you are at the end of the day going to be accessing servers in a different region from you that could be pretty far away, like me in Europe, and now I'm accessing US servers, my ping will suffer. So you could see over here, my ping right now is at 185 milliseconds. So it's not that great. And if I went over to one of the games here and I checked my ping, you could see that it really is not that great in a bunch of different places because at the end of the day, I am in Europe and I am connecting up to a US server. Even if I didn't have the VPN connected, it wouldn't be amazing. Now, the last thing I wanted to talk about over here was the store because using a VPN to create an account in a different country can save you money in the store. For example, in Europe, the prices that I'm getting are over here. So for 1100 VP, I'm going to have to pay 100 euro. But in my US account, I can get the same amount of points and I only have to pay $100. And at today's exchange rate, that would save me about 11 or about almost $12. So how useful this is going to be may vary from person to person, but it is something nice to be aware of that having an account set up in a different region can save you some money. Now, the last thing that I wanted to talk about was the VPNs themselves. So you might be wondering which is the one that I should go with in order to try to utilize this when it comes to Valorant. So I already mentioned to ExpressVPN and NordVPN, and there's a third one that I also like a lot, and that is this one over here, Surfshark. And basically the quick rundown of these three is that ExpressVPN is gonna be the simplest and easy to use and pretty much my go-to VPN that I'm gonna use when I'm streaming content that's only gonna be available in a different country. So if I wanna access a Netflix library that's only available somewhere else, or if I'm gaming like here, I'm gonna use ExpressVPN just because it's simple and easy to use and gets really fast performance. Like you saw using it in my own area, not across continents. I pretty much had the same ping as my base ping, maybe just a few milliseconds higher, but really not bad at all. So ExpressVPN, as I would say, the simplest go-to VPN option and probably one of the best all-around VPNs on the market.
NordVPN, on the other hand, to me, is for somebody who wants a lot of different options. There's a lot of different things that you can do with NordVPN that you can't really do with a VPN like Express. Just some examples of this are going to be servers for accessing the Onion network and also a kill switch that allows you to choose exactly which apps you want connected up to the kill switch. And really, when it comes to NordVPN, there's so much to the features and there's so much going on with this VPN that I really can't cover it all in this video. So I'll be sure to leave links to full in-depth reviews for all three of these VPNs in the description below, including Nord. So you can find out some more information about them if you're interested. And lastly, there's going to be Surfshark. And Surfshark is what I would say is the best budget VPN. It's the cheapest of the three. But at the same time, you're getting a lot of really high level features that you don't generally find in a VPN at this price point. So if you're on a budget, I definitely recommend Surfshark. It is a really good, inexpensive option. And in case you want to try them out, besides for full reviews, I'll also be sure to have some discount links in the description below that will save you some extra money on them. And all three of these have a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can always just test it out and see if you like it, see which one's for you. And if you don't like it, just cancel and you can get your money back. So that's all for this video, guys. I hope this helped you out. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.